what's top deck king welcome to my channel today we are back with some golgari festival skeletal swarming kind of combo mask with nexus deck we're gonna go give this deck a try in the best of one ladder see how we do but before we go ahead and get into the play you know the gameplay and all that let's go ahead and speak about the deck real quick so I'm keeping so this is a Golgari, so in the best of one. So I'm keeping eye twitch in the deck due to the fact that I can get the lesson learn package, as well as I'm playing Deadly Dispute. I can I have a bunch of creatures that I can sack here. So I have innkeepers, eye twitch, shaman gas, creates me treasures, helps me ramp into the storm of the festival sooner. So that's why I have those. Obviously, shambling gas, like I said, it's Either it's a blocker against the white decks, very good against white decks because it's a blocker against their creatures, or it gets to ramp you something. Innkeepers here for it could be a massive life gain due to skeletal swarming, so as well as ramping me up and creating a blocker. Deadly dispute, we got enough creatures. We can also sacrifice chariot tokens, spider tokens, skeletal swarmings. We have enough token or enough creatures to be able to do that. We can grab you know pest summoning from the cyborg, sack those. Infernal grabs is our instant speed removal. I'm gonna try this out. Like I said, I'm always on the fence between power word kill and infernal grass obviously power word kill can't hit, hit faces haven maybe the dragons um, but infernal grasp against the aggro decks is kind of bad because you're taking two damage and in that case power word kill would be better so i've been on the fence between the two so i'm gonna try infernal grasp and see how it goes three meat hooks um because our alternate win condition is destroying all our tokens and then pinging them for lethal so three meat hooks as well as is good against all the aggro white decks and whatnot so Two chariots, that's another way to start generating tokens. Use uh, skeletal swarming tokens to animate it and then copy and create more skeletal swarmings. We'll see if we need more copies than two. Maybe three copies might be best. We'll find out, see. Um, two binding the gods. Um, I've been on the fence with binding the gods due to the fact that there's not really much in terms of permanence that I want to be destroying. Against white decks, they're just gonna have a bunch of one and two cost creatures. I'm going to pay four mana to do that. The plus side is it gets to ramp you. So we'll see how this works out. It may or may not stick around. Calling Ritual is against the white decks. I want to be able to board wipe them and then create some mana. Masswood Nexus is here to help with Skeletal Swarming. You pair these two together and then now all your creatures become, you know, the same type of creature or whatever these skeleton creatures so all your skeletons get plus x plus x so chariot tokens you know these that's why there's pest summoning stuff like that two spider queens we're still in golgari i love spider queen as a planeswalker it protects itself it draws cards it increases its own loyalty when creatures die so i love uh spider queen and it's one of the best black planeswalkers in the format so i'm definitely gonna run it Glorious Sunrise helps you ramp, um, gives your creatures trample. So if you have a bunch of skeletal swarming creatures, you give them plus one, plus one trample. So that's what the purpose of that. As well as it helps you ramp, draw cards, um, gets you, what is it, life. So we'll, we'll give it a try. Skeletal Swarming is the main deck of the game deck. This and Storm the Festival are the point. You play a festival into multiple copies or some of these stuff. We play Skeletal Swarmings. But as you see, everything in my deck is five costs or less. So that way Storm the Festival could hit basically everything. Nothing special about the lands. One man land, one man land. The new, you know, land. But other than that, everything is the same. We have two uh, woodland here because of Binding of the Gods. And two tab sources won't really hurt the deck. So nothing special about the sideboard. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this deck a try and see how we do. But don't forget to check the description of the video. It has your portable deck list in there. As well as my social media stuff twitch twitter discord at the moment i am on vacation so i won't be streaming on twitch but go ahead and follow me i will be back streaming in two weeks and you could check me out live um, but follow me on the other social media platforms don't forget to hit that subscribe button thumbs up button follow me hit the notification blah 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 drop some comments down below let's get into the matches and see how we do with this deck into the mythic ladder go play some golgari festival try some of the new cards and see how we do trash goblin trash goblin but yeah golgari festival i get to play first huh not the greatest hand but i got lands i'm gonna keep just to see what happens 
We have a way to destroy the board with low cost cards if they're playing creatures. And then we have, you know, ooh, they revealed. They took a reveal and then decided not to do anything with it. Already then? Well then, opponent. What does this guy do? Um, whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Sacrifice another creature, gets plus another Interesting. Okay. Um, is this some kind of green black magecraft deck? Because I don't really know what that card is used for. We'll find out, I guess. Let's see if it's a magecraft. Magecraft. Yep, it is a magecraft deck. All right. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to kill that, but oh well. All right, so block, activate the other dispute. One, two, three, four, five, six. So block, play a deadly dispute, sacrifice, get some, uh, create a treasure. Ooh, another meat hook. Another, wow, we didn't draw any lands off that, huh? That's very interesting. Zero lands. This has menace, so I have to double block it. If I do that, this dies. So one, two, three. I can do five. Eh, I guess we'll do meat hook for three. Let's just kill their board. Because if I played Spider Queen here, the witch has menace. So regardless, it gets to kill my the double attack. I have to double block. So we'll just kill their board. And then uh, witch is back. It's back again. Guess who's back? Shady's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Let's gain some life. Let's create some creatures and you're go all right we could double block it and then create treasures so looks like we're playing against a magecraft deck huh i haven't played against magecraft in a long time or i should say golgari magecraft i haven't played against in a long time that's pretty interesting where's our big payoff cards like our storm the festival our five mana enchantment let's see Let's see. Dun, dun, mm, mm, dun, dun. Meat hook for one. Sure. You got it. Nothing happens in the life exchange because we both have meat hook in play. So nothing happens there. Dig. Dig up. Dig it up. Dig it up. Dig it up. Dig it up. Yep. So if I play Spider Queen. Hmm. Another land. I have a lot of mana. I could do this for two. Clear up the witch. Is that worth it? Clear up the witch. If I play Spider Queen. It dies to what he has on board. All right. I don't think I want to play this. I think I want to wait till they got more in play. But if I do this for two, eh, we'll do it for two. Because I could also then play Spider Queen, I guess. And then, like I said, nothing really happens because we both have the same crap in play. All right, we'll cast the spider, dude. I lose a lot of treasure, though, but I'm going to draw a card here instead of creating the... Okay, trivia. Instead of creating the, do, the, the spiders, I'm looking to draw cards. I need to gain some card advantage back. Well, now I wish I would have created the dudes. Because then I could have killed this guy. This guy. I could have killed this guy. Alright, Binding of the Gods. Let's go. El Bindo. A calling ritual. Not doing anything right now. Another calling ritual. <laughs> Didn't I say it's not doing anything right now? We're going to draw a card again. There's Storm the Festival. Um, so I'm drawing a card here for the purpose of that. So I don't want to create the things and then he has a board wipe effect. So I'm going to draw a card. If he board wipes my creatures, then I use Spider Queen to create two anime cherry attack it. We'll do that. Because right now, if, let's say he has a meat hook, right? If he has a meat hook, I did minus on Spider Queen and play Chariot, it would be bad for me. 
If you cast instant source spell, you gain life when your opponent loses the life. Okay. Okie dokie. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power. Of okay. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. Got it. Got it. You got it. It's going to kill my other creature too? Ah, uh, he has a way to kill. Very well, opponent. Very well. All right, put this on green. Let's storm him. Let's storm him. Binding a god, skeletal king. Sure. Because why not? Let's kill this onyx. Let's attack. Because if it dies, I get to get two skeletons. I get to get two skeletons. Cleared the board. Is that a blue mana? Or is that just... Oh, okay. I was like, is that a blue mana? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what do you got? Uno card in your hand. Plum. Nice. That's a good one. Yep. Draw two cards. That's actually a really decent last card in your hand, though. All right. Let's go grab this one. Let's play another storm the festival. S festival for the rest of them. Let's do that. The being of your creed. I could do that. Child card if you control power greater three or more. We don't do that. Gain life. Let's do that. Um combat attack trigger. I can create another skeleton. They get bigger. I think I'll create this though. Take four. Charge! Charge! Swarm them! Good game, opponent. All right, all right. Let's keep going with some festival for the rest of us. Storm the festival. Vera. Vera Slux? Viru Slux? Opponent gets to go first. Hmm. I don't really know what my opponent's playing. Looks like white. Oh, this card could be powerful. That was a decent draw. I'll take it. That was a decent draw. I'll take it. Now it gives us the turn three uh, calling ritual, I guess. Good, good, good. Keep dropping one drops. Yes, thank you. Keep doing it. We'll take one. No blocks. No reason to block. Um... Guess we'll play that. No attacks. So they attack. I chump block and then I play calling ritual. Okay, so now we currently have four cards we could destroy. Even better. Alright, so if I chump block, I create a treasure, right? Destroy four and play chariot. So that's calling ritual. Auto pay. Destroy your board. Uh, submit. That should probably lock it up. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I mean, our hand is three lands, though, so. But we did just do a four for one. Good game. Let's, let's go play some standard. Let's go play some standard. I don't know what the heck is that a L H L H L H L H I get to go first I guess I'll keep I have a turn one and then if it dies I have a turn three chariot or a turn four skeletal swarming looks like we're playing against white so shambling gases ooh that's a good draw too I was like shambling gas is good against the white decks um no attacks that's okay I don't need to attack. I need to get to the late game. The late game wins it for me. One, two, three, four, five. So if they attack with Usher, I'm going to block with Shambling Gas so that I can create a treasure and play an early Skeletal Swarming. Interesting. I'm surprised they actually attack, to be honest. They really wanted to trade off? What do you have as a two-cost opponent? Hmm. 
Another usher. Okay. Into sure. And then there's skeletal swarming. All right, let's play the skeletal swarming then. Turn three skeletal swarmings. Pretty decent, I guess. Pretty decent. Then turn four chariot, and then hopefully turn five skeletal swarming. We'll see what happens. Luminarch aspirant. Unfortunately, if they put it on something and they don't attack, well, they're gonna attack now. Sure, we'll take three. Due to the fact that we're creating a creature each turn, as long as innkeeper survives. So we need this on green. Let's play chariot, gain two life here. Triggers, gain two back. So innkeeper will kill, help us regain a bunch of our life back. Skeletal has to attack. They don't block, that's fine. We still create one. They do block, obviously then we get to create two. And then another one comes in play, triggers, gain a life. Now we can use them to animate chariot looking for lands because they got storm the festival in hand sure so they're going to upgrade it okay but only one of their creatures can attack technically because they have a four four even if they put a counter on luminarch or the escort can't attack only the usher can attack so what are you going to do they might not even attack. Okay. And hold it back against Chariot. It's very interesting. No box. All right. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, my turn. Okay, there's a land, I'll take it. So, I can, hmm. They're going to sacrifice to protect the adversary. Hmm. I could prevent my skeletons from attacking by using chariot. I need a somehow, I need a draw so I can kill this adversary. So if I attack, he sacrifices. Because he put a counter on this for a purpose. Then he keeps that alive. I lose chariot. I get to create two skeletal swarmings. Um, I can also just animate so it, it doesn't these ones don't have to attack and then not attack. So if I do this and then not attack, and then I create another skeleton, I can also attack, create another skeleton. Um, becomes a three, three, then a four, four. Oops. All right. We're just going to attack. I lose chariot, but I think I let's create this. It's a three, one token. And then I create two more. So then it becomes a five power token. Because Chariot's going to die. Oh, wow. He didn't. Interesting. He let the damage go through. Hmm. I'm surprised about that, actually. I'm actually very surprised about that non-block. That is definitely not what I was expecting. Hmm. All right. Well, you got me there, opponent. You got me there. Another Luminarch Aspirant. If I could draw an untapped land to play Storm the Festival it would be nice. That would be really nice. All right, what do you got? Put all the counters on that. Yeah. It's pretty good, too. You can regain all your life back, technically. What are you going to attack with? Hmm. It's an interesting attack. I guess 
I'll block. Trades off creatures. You got it. You got it, got it, got it. You got it, got it, got it. All right. Untap land, come on. Untap land, come on. Or even, um, I'll take, uh, okay, there we go. Um, put that on green. Let's play Storm the Festival. Storm them up. Ooh. Um, I get two lands. I can get innkeeper also and duplicate the land. So then I can play Storm the Festival again. Um, I can also get this. And then these things are huge. And then he's forced to block. So let's see how much damage do they have. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. So if I take this and this... 17 damage. All right, let's crew with this. Swing out, force them to block. <laughs> I get you, you know what I'm saying? Attack! Oh, uh, let's create another token, gain a life. I actually gained two life. All right. Deal with my board. Good game, opponent. Right, oh, right, oh, right. Oh, nice. I found an opponent really quickly. I'll take that. What is this? Eugene's. Eugene's. You are you. As a genius junior. EU genius junior. Okay. Well, we can't keep this. We had nothing to do with anything. I guess I could keep this and I'll bottom you. Because that's a really late card. Turn one, Twitch. Turn two. Turn three. Okay. Let's we'll see what we could do with this. EU genius. All right. So, turn one, Twitch. Turn two, Hydra. We have four mana. We can play every card in our hand currently. Well, that's good. What do I have in the sideboard again? Mascots. Okay. It looks like we're playing. I'm assuming this is a life gain deck, right? Because I don't. It could be a landfall deck too. One of the two. Oh, it's a life gain deck. It's life gain. Oh, play this, obviously. This has first strike? No, it does not. So no attacks. No first strike. It looks like it's a life gain deck, so this could be big. So far, we're hitting two off it. Did they miss a land drop? Looks like they missed the land drop. No reason to play that. Go ahead. Uh, whenever you gain life, put a 1 1 counter target creature in control. Okay. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you gain a life. Sure. So one, two, three, four. We also do just do a meat hook for one. Um alrighty then. I mean unfortunately my opponent is not drawing lands to play anything. That's very sucky, but you know, that's fine. Now we have calling ritual to massively push the advantage to us now. Especially since it looks like they're missing another land drop. Looks like they're missing another land job. So, I guess I'll deadly dispute here. So I can draw some cards. Oh, I guess we'll grab mascot. And then my turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I play a land, that'd be seven. So if I do calling ritual, I should be able to create seven mana. Yep. Into a mascot. All right. Clear the board and put out, what is that? Nine power on board. Seems pretty darn good. I mean, it only happened due to the fact that my opponent is missing lands, but I'll take it. Sorry, opponent. Sorry. 
Storm them up. Storm them up. Let's go storm my opponent. David. 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 I get to go first. Eh, okay. I have a one drop. I have a two drop. If this dies, I have a turn three chariot. We'll keep. The only thing I'm really missing is like uh, Deadly Dispute. But other than that, it seems fine. So put this on black. Play this. Go ahead. I'm wondering if instead of Inferno Grass, if I should just be playing... Um, what's it called? The the three mana destroy all two costs or less, and then it has the cleave of, uh, effect. Thinking if I should just play that instead. Skeletal swarming. I need black. I need. I guess I need black more right now than I do green. So we'll play. Sure. Um. All right, no attacks. Okie dokie. Missing land drops. Play something two costs or less, please, opponent. Please, thank you. Upgrade. Thank you. I have to unfortunately block with shambling gas here. So that way I could play ritual. Because I currently don't have the mana in my hand, so. Well, there's the land. So four, the one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's pretty good. So let's destroy everything. Create five mana. Submit. Uh, let's grab environmental science. Spider queen. And I'm doing spider queen here for over skeletal swarming because spider queen can start drawing me cards. It's on a clear field, sort of, you know. They have Faceless Haven, but I have two blockers. Um, so I'm gonna use Spider Queen to draw me cards. Cause now they have to they have to kill both the creatures. If they're able to kill both the creatures, then they're able to kill both creatures, you know. But and now this guy has menace, I could kill the I can kill him anyways. So um should I play chariot or should I play environmental science? I could play environmental science and shambling gas. I guess let's draw, make it be if I draw a land. Okay, we drew a land. So let's go to combat. Let's swing here because it kills it. It has menace. And then we can cast El Chariot into Shambling Guest. And Europe. I don't know if the Ren on their side was worth it, to be honest, because. They basically paid five mana to cast, I guess, a six six. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. It's not bad. But I don't know if it was like a hundred percent worth it, but it's not bad. Do they have oh, okay, good game. Soul tie fest not soul tie. Um Golgari Festival. K Pizzle. K Pizzle. Pizzies. I get to go first finally. What do you know? It's an okay hand. If we're playing against white, I think the hand's pretty solid. Playing against control, the hand's pretty garbage. So <laughs> let's see what we're playing against. My luck is going to be against a control deck. It's against the control deck. Oh my gosh, we're playing against mill. Great. We're playing <laughs> against the is mill deck. Ugh. Ah, so annoying. All right. One, two, three. We have three. Mm. Combat. Sure. Go ahead. There's no point of playing this because it only gives me three mana. Then I can't do anything for three mana. So I'm not playing this. Yes, they're going to mail me more cards. Unfortunate, but I i mean, there's really, you know what I mean? Nothing I can do about that. What the heck is that? Create a token that's a copy of target non-frog creature except they won one green frog. 
Interesting. Combat attack. So let's create five mana. And then play Skeletal Swarm in, create a treasure. I can actually play Storm the Festival here instead. I think Storm the Festival might be better. Okay, it was not better. It was 100% not better. <laughs> what crud did we hit right there, man? What crud was that? Interesting, huh? Their teamer, uh, teamer mill, teamer mill. So combat attack. I guess they probably have a. I mean, I'm assuming they have divide by zero, right? Divide by zero. I assume they have divide by zero. Okay. Alrighty, so three, so two, four, five. This would be six. This would be seven. Jordy Disruption. Good thing I played uh, the Chariot instead of the Skeletal Swarming, huh? Good thing we went that route. They have... So July for basic? Sure. What are you playing, my friend? What are you playing? Let's I guess get rid of this. I don't know. I guess. Go to nine, two, four, five, six, seven mana. I have no idea what my, I'm assuming it's a uh, crab mill deck and they're using, say this, destroy their own land, go grab two lands, and then they get to mill for, what is it? Six per land, because they're going to have a copied spell and whatnot. That's my assumption. So we got enough. Guess we'll grab green still. Gotta be careful on grabbing too many green because binding of the gods, remember, it only grabs green. So combat four, five, six, seven. Set you for five. Let's cast El Shamblo. Or not Shamblo. Let's cast Skeletal Swarming into Shamblo. And then that's our right, good game opponent. Hey everyone, welcome back to the final analysis deck changes of the deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my gameplay so far, my commentary on the matches. We got to play against some uh, interesting decks like that, uh, what was it, the Frog, uh, Is It, or Teamer Mill deck. That was a pretty interesting deck. But then we also got to play against some of the more, uh, uh, I guess, concrete deck, you want to call the tier one decks, the green decks, the white decks, stuff like that. So this deck is looks very solid against the white decks due to the fact there's, uh, well, I guess let me go into the changes I made first. So first off, some changes I made was instead of the Infernal Grasp, I went ahead and cut those and put Path of Apparel into the deck instead. Helps out against the aggro decks as well as late game action so we can cleave it. Um, and then in order to deal with the Faceless Haven card, I went ahead and added two Field of Ruins. This is where a two-color deck, uh, Field of Ruins, shouldn't uh, affect the deck very much. Yes, granted, some of the high-cost cards are double black, double green, triple green, but that shouldn't affect the deck very much in terms since it's a two-color deck. And I also added the, the Celestis artifact here because it could ramp us as well as create us, uh, say, white mana so we could cast this uh, with the cleave aspect. Of course, we have Shambling Gas to create as treasures. We have Innkeeper to create treasures and Deadly Dispute to create treasures so we can still cast it without the artifact. 
but it becomes a little easier to cast it with this because we could tap this for any colors um and then we also added another a third spider queen spider queen was amazing in most of my matches due to the fact that i was clearing the board with coin ritual and path and stuff like that so i went ahead and added the third spider queen but other than that other than the path the celestus and the spider queen the deck looked very solid it's the same deck from the intro of the deck um it's very good like i said against the white decks due to path meat hook and calling ritual we basically clear their board constantly you know what is this this is five six seven we got seven board wipe cards against the white deck so this deck farms the white decks but of course you can't be good against both so against like the is it you know or the control decks this deck is going to fall in a sense, it will fall. If you get an early skeletal swarming against like a blue black control deck or something like that, then you could easily win the game. But if they counter a bunch of your stuff, then it's going to be hard. I'm not saying it's impossible to not beat the control decks, but it is a little harder. You do have different fronts. You have both planeswalkers, we have creatures, you have ways to get multiple cards off the top of your deck and then recast it again. So it's it could easily be control. It is a little harder due to the fact of how much removal is in the deck. So take that in granted. But if you're playing against a lot of white decks, this deck looks pretty solid against the white deck. So other than that, nothing really changed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck, the commentary, my uh, little jabs or whatever you want to call them, little uh, comedy jokes in there. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get you guys to subscribe, to hit that thumbs up, notification bell. Check the description of the video. It has the portable deck list for you as well. It will have this version in the description, not the original version, which is in the intro. So if you want to see the original version, check out the intro of the video. But the portable deck list will have this version. So it will be to Aether Hub. And then, like I said, there's also my social media, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and all that stuff. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, thanks for the support. I am out. Top D King out.